you have ever used a Samsung device with Marshmallow update on it, you must be confused about app permissions, default applications and notifications and how to set them, how to um, turn the notifications off, how to turn off pop-up notifications, which app permissions to grant, how to access app permissions and stuff like that. It's really convoluted on the Marshmallow update on Samsung devices. So let's go ahead and take a look how to manage app permissions, notifications and default applications on J7 2016 model. And chances are if you're using any other Samsung Galaxy device with Marshmallow update, everything that I'll be doing in this video will pretty much apply to your device as well. Now first thing first, let's talk about applications. So we go into the settings here and we go into applications. So in applications you see two things here. There is an application manager and there are default applications and then there are some application settings. Now first let me just get it out of the way what are these apps here. Now you can access all of their settings, all of their individual settings from this application menu right from here. So for example if you want to go to the camera settings you can go from here. These are the same settings that you will be able to access from the camera app. Getting that out of the way, we have got application manager and default applications here. Let's go into the application manager. So here you have got all the apps that are installed or pre-installed. So what you can do here is you can go into each app and you can manage it separately. You can manage the storage whether you want it here or you want to transfer it to SD card. You can transfer apps to the SD card on this device. You have data usage, permissions, notifications, set as default, whether you want to set it as default app or not. So you can access permissions here, which uh, whether you want to give allow permission to calendar, camera, contacts, location, microphone, phone, SMS and storage. Now if you go into the more, there you can see system apps. So all of these apps are pre-installed system apps um, and I would recommend not, you know, playing around too much with that. Now there are apps that can appear on top. Now what is this is basically um, these are the apps that can show pop-ups or pop-up notifications or even pop-up windows on top of other apps. So you can grant them permission from here or revoke permissions from here. And then we have reset app references. So if you have changed any app references you can reset them from here. Now that was application manager. Let's talk about default applications. You have browser app. I can set Chrome, Internet, Brave, or Tubemate or whatever. I'll set Chrome here. Calling app. I just have contacts app for calling here. So that's that. For messages, I can set Hangouts and Messenger as my default apps. Then there is default app selection here. So previously, for example, if you had to open a link, the Android system will then give you few options which browser to open it in. You can then select the browser and choose whether to always open it in that browser or just this once. This is what this is. Then we have home screen. So here you can basically select what launcher you're using. Right now I have Nova launcher installed and I have TouchWiz home installed. So if I select Nova launcher here and I go back to the home screen, you will see now that the Nova launcher is in charge here. So that was about the applications and application manager and default apps. Now let's talk about the notifications. Now here as I told you that you can go into all these apps and set their notifications as well. You can go to these notifications and you can allow notifications, set their priority, preview in pop-ups and you can change all these settings. But there is another way of doing it as well. Just go into the notifications here and it will load up all these apps. Now here straight away you have the option to turn off notification for any particular app. You go into advanced, all of these apps have notifications allowed. Now you can change that here. You can have, you can select apps here with blocked notifications. Right now I don't have any apps with notifications blocked. You have apps with prioritized notifications. So if I prioritize any app to send me notifications even in do not disturb mode they will appear here. So hopefully you get the idea what I'm talking about here. Similarly apps with blocked pop-ups, apps with notification, hidden on lock screen, app with content, hidden on lock screen. Now there is this one more setting left and that's privacy and safety settings. So here you can have location settings, app permissions and, sep and stuff like that. Now in application manager we saw that you can have every app sorted separately and manage it separately. But here it's the other way around. So here you have all the resources of your mobile device that you have given those applications the access to. So for example you have given two apps 
access to body sensors you have given seven apps access to calendars you have given 12 apps access to camera and similarly you can see that for 15 out of 45 apps can access your location as well so you can take a look at all these apps so brave has access camera has access chrome has access device manager has access to my location i can turn them on and off i can deny them these accesses so that's about it guys and this is how you tackle app notifications app permissions and default apps and stuff like that on galaxy devices running marshmallow updates and hopefully you will find it useful if you have found it useful press that like button and subscribe to this channel if you want and if you have any other questions you can ask me in the comments i'll get back to you and i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye